Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. This is UiPath Assistant videos number three, where you will learn about the reminders. If you have not watched the previous video, please go through that. I will also add the links of those videos in my video description. So let's start now. So this is the UiPath Assistant, and there are three tabs here: Home, Reminders, and Marketplace. Click on this reminders and from this reminder tab, you can create a reminder for your automations. You can specify the time, date and you can receive the notification. You can receive the reminder for that automation to start the execution. You can create a reminder for all the automations which is available in your automation list. So let me show you here. So here in this tab, we get all the reminders that we have already set. This reminder, it doesn't mean that it will trigger your automation. It will not trigger. It will just notify you. It will just give you a notification to remind you to start your automation, to execute your automation. Now let me show you how to add a reminder. Click on this add reminders. Here we have our automations. Select your automation. So I want to create a add a new reminder for UI demo automation. I am selecting this one. Here we have a reminder recurrence. Recurrence means when do you want to get the reminder? Only one time, a daily basis, monthly basis, on weekly basis. So here you can see once daily, weekly, monthly. So let me select once. And also you can create multiple reminders for same automations you can see so I have reminder for this one once at this time and this date you can also choose the date if you want you can choose the date also you can change the time how you can change that once you'll click here let me see if you click here this hour and then it is selected now once you'll type anything from your keyboard it will be changed so let's say I'm putting a 14 one four so it has been changed I'm typing here one three now it's one three uh, now here in the minute I want to type here three three here we have option to choose the date now once you click on save it will create a reminder here you can see for this UI demo automation today at 1333 it means around 133 you will get a notification so we'll wait for that time and now you can see here currently time is 1333 which is our reminder time and now you can see here we got this reminder and this is the notification which allows us to start the execution run this job or like run this automation or you can dismiss this one we have one more option that will remind you in 10 minutes if you will click on that it will remind me in 10 minutes so let me click on that so now you can see here time has been set today at 13:43. so at this time you will get again this reminder why this feature has been added here because sometimes what happens I thought like I can run this job I can run this automation around this time but let's say I'm working here I'm doing something else and that time I got a notification I got a reminder that okay this is the reminder that you have said do you want to run if I think that okay I am free now I can run that so I can click on run if I think that no no I have some urgent work that first I want to finish that and then I want to start this later one so I can re you know click on that so it will remind me in 10 minutes so now you can see at this time I can run that and still if I think that at this specific time I do not have time to run this so I can again remind that I click on this remind in 10 minutes so it will give me 10 minutes more and then once I will be free next time I can run that job right so at this time I will able to run that now let me click on add new reminders and I can select same also but here now I am going to select daily here we have option every day every first day days here we have option to increase that every second day every first day every third like that if, if you want you can put here so every 
first day at this time I want to run this automation on daily basis at 1.35 I want to run my job it's already you know 1.35 so it has set to tomorrow so tomorrow at this, this time it will run this automation let me select any hello project once and click save now this time today at 13.36 this project will give you a reminder now you can see I got this reminder now if I want to run that I can click on this run and this execution will be started you can come to this and you can see here the job has been started okay now this is completed and that a specific reminder now is not here because that was only set as only once now add new reminders I'm clicking on this RPA challenge now we have weekly basis so in the weekly basis we have the option I can show you on weekly basis every first week or every two week every third week every fourth week like that so every one week days of the week so I want to run on Monday every first week I want to run at this time this date currently at the start date is this but every weekly basis every first day on Monday I want to get the notification so that I can run that if I if I want you can also select multiple if you think that I want to run on Monday and Friday you can select that if you want to deselect this click again on this one now click on that you can click multiple and you can click save if you click on this you can see the the reminder that you have set so this is the one that we have set weekly basis every week Monday Thursday and Friday and this time I want to run that and go back here so you can see tomorrow at 13 37 this will give you a notification a reminder to start the execution now if you think that any reminder that you have created that is not required now so you can click on that and you can scroll down and there is a delete button you can click on delete it will delete the reminder now this reminder has been deleted if you think that there is some changes required in the specific reminder that you have already created you can also do that you just need to click on this you need to select the reminder the recurrences you need to change the time you can change that and you can save that now this has been changed here now add new reminders select this one select monthly and here we have option every month every month on the day of month which day on first day every month on first day this time I want to run this job so click save now you'll see here we got this first of March 2023 at this time this will give you a reminder first of March so currently this is fab and first of fab is already passed now the next first day of this month is March so it will run on March if you'll select here let's say today's date is 5 and you will say 6 6th day every month save that so it will run tomorrow at this time it will run because we have set here every first month of 6 it will run that job so by this way you can add a reminder you can edit the reminder you can delete the reminder and you can get the notification so I hope this is useful if so please like this video please subscribe the channel thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn blue prism please visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash blue prism rpa and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course i will also put the link in in my video description you can go through that there thank you